Hey guys, it's Spicy and in this video I'm going to give you guys a Kovacs aim training routine that you can do as a beginner so you can improve your gameplay in games such as Apex, Fortnite, Overwatch, and CSGO and even more. So let's get started. Alright, so before I get into it, let me quickly tell you guys what Kovacs aim training is. So if you know nothing about it, you can get it on Steam. For me right now, it's around $12 Canadian. It's, it's strictly dedicated to improving your aim. And there's certain routines in it for tracking and hit scan that are made by the community. And they specifically help you master movements and form good habits so you can hit your shots in, in the games that you play. So to get this, just go on Steam, look up Kovacs Aim Train Trainer and just download it and uh, that's how you just get started. Now when you first start with Kovax Aim Trainer, what you're gonna see is there's a list on the left side that is filled with a bunch of routines and different drills that you can do. Now also, once you click on a routine, you're gonna have two options. You can play that routine in free play mode or you can do a challenge. So in free play, there's unlimited timers and, and you know you can just kinda test it out and see how you do. And challenge is usually like one minute where it, in a certain amount of time, you're supposed to hit as many targets as you can, and it ranks you with a bunch of other people globally, so you know how good you are, relatively speaking. The other thing that you're going to realize when you look at the list on the left that is filled with drills is that it becomes kind of overwhelming because there's a lot of drills, so it's tough to exactly pick which drill you might need to improve in your game and in, in your playstyle. So the first routine you guys are going to do is called Tile Frenzy. It's a pretty straightforward drill. The main purpose of this drill is I want you to start warming up and get used to quick movements and flicking from target to target. This is a relatively easy drill to do. So try to focus on speed and try to focus on flicking. And also do this for around five to 10 minutes and make sure for all these drills guys, whether it's beginner, intermediate or expert, make sure you're doing the challenge mode because that is going to give you an idea of whether you're getting better or not and it also and you can also compare yourself to the rest of the people that do this drill around the world so you kind of get an idea of how good you are or how bad you are so it's critical you do the challenge mode all right so now for the second drill you're going to move on to this exercise called close long strafes so this mimics movements in for example overwatch when you're playing soldier 76 and someone's rushing you um, also in Apex, you know, same situation if you're using a gun like an alternator or a flatline or R99 and someone's rushing you. Um, you have to make sure that as this target is rushing you, you're able to track them as they're going from left to right so you can hit your shots. So this replicates that scenario. Practice this for 5-10 to 10 minutes and also, as always do the challenge mode as well. Okay, so the third exercise you'll do now is called One Wall, Six Targets TE. Now this is a hit scan exercise and the main purpose that I want you to do this exercise for is to start devel developing good flicking habits when it comes to hit being a hit scan player. So this goes to someone who's playing a McCree. If you're someone who loves using the pop pump shotgun in Fortnite or same thing if you're using uh, the Peacekeeper in Apex. Like you have to make sure that you have good flicking habits and this this drill really instills that in you. Make sure as you go from circle to circle, make sure you're not carefully dragging your cursor over. Make sure instead you're trying to flick your cursor, cursor from circle to circle because that's what instills good habits and builds a good hit scan player. So moving on to the next drill which is called Fugla XY Long Strafes. This is another tracking drill. This replicates movements of tracking when you're on the high ground and you're and your and your opponent is moving in a sporadic fashion thing is when you're on when you're on the same level as your opponent and you're tracking you know that the opponent can only move left and right so it's a lot easier to track but if you're ever on high ground for example if you're ever soldier 76 and you're in high ground it's a lot more complicated to, to track your opponent's movement because not only can they move left and right but they can also move up and down so that's what this kind of replicates it's a great drill to do and it will kind of get you used to that movement and making that tracking adjustment from being on low ground to being on high ground and do this for another five to ten minutes before you move on to the next drill which is called tile frenzy strafing dash 01 now as soon as you start this drill you're going to find out that it's very simple but again it builds on what i said previously about the previous drill which is building good hit scan habits Again, just focus on flicking as quickly as you can from target to target. As if you were McCree and you're aiming at targets from mid to long range. 
and you're trying to output as much DPS as you can in a low amount of time. You can also look at it as using the wingman at Apex where you're doing the same type of movement. So again, practice this for 5-10 to 10 minutes, do the challenge mode, and that's going to wrap it up for this drill. And then you will move on to the next drill which is called One Wall One Target. And as you can guess, this is another hit scan drill, but this drill pretty much builds upon everything that I've kind of, every drill that I've told you guys to do in the past three or four, because this drill isn't as forgiving as the past few. It's still relatively easy, but it isn't as forgiving because this time you only have one target and you have to click, flick to it as quickly as you can, and you don't know where it's going to spa the next time. So this is gonna give you that unpredictability factor, and it's really going to test your habits and your flicking mechanics. And that's what we wanna work on guys. We wanna work on creating good habits. That way when you're in the middle of a game, whether it's Apex and a, and a multi-team fight has broke out, or it's Overwatch and you're trying to capture the point in overtime, or it's Fortnite and you're down to the last two or three teams, this is where habits take over and your mind kind of shuts down because you're so into the game and there's so much pressure on the situation. So what you want to do in these drills, not just in the beginner, but all the way to intermediate and expert, is build good habits for hit scan and build good habits for tracking. So that way, when you're in those pressure situations, these good habits take over and you outperform your opponents and win games. So in this last drill that I just said, do exactly that. Turn your brain off and just focus on flicking from target to target as quickly as you can and try to do this for 10 minutes and make sure you do the challenge on this one. It's very important because this will kind of give you a good baseline of how you're improving or if you're not. All right guys, so for the next drill, the last drill in this routine, what you're gonna do is the ground plaza easy drill. This is a great drill. It is a tracking dominated drill, but it's a good drill to help you uh, unlike the previous drills, this drill has movement in it. it. It allows you to use your WASD keys. But more importantly, you can use this drill to address something that a lot of beginners lack when they first start playing competitive mouse and keyboard FPS games, which is they, they always focus on moving their cursor when it comes to tracking um, against opponents. And that's fine, but like in, in close to mid-range fights when you're tracking, a lot of people, what they forget to do is trying to mirror their movement with the opponent's movement. So in the previous drill, when you did the close long straight drill, in that drill, you were standing still and all you had to do was move your cursor from left to right as the pylon moved. But in this drill, you can actually move. So now it, this is your chance to mirror the movement with WASD of the pylon. And now all of a sudden, it's easier for you to aim because you don't have to move your cursor from left to right. Your cursor stays steady and you're, and you're moving and, and the left right movement comes from WASD, which makes it a lot easier to aim because now you have more room for error. And mirroring your movement with your enemy will really help you in close to mid range fights. For example, if you're Soldier 76 and someone is rushing you and they're all in your face, or even in Fortnite when you're using that submachine gun, or when you're using the R99 in Apex, like these things, this technique will really help you get picks in those type of situations. All right guys, so that's going to wrap it up for the beginner's routine. Really focus on improving the fundamentals and getting techniques pat down when it comes to hit scan and trace tracking. Completing this whole routine should take you approximately 45 minutes. Make sure you do a challenge mode at the end of it, each one so you can track your improvement. And then you're pretty much ready to go and jump into a game and you know see how uh, see how it affects you. To get the maximum advantage from this routine, make sure you do it for at least 30 days in a row before you move on to the next one. And all right, boys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know how much improvement you see in your games, whether it's Overwatch or Fortnite, with this routine. Let me know if I missed maybe an exercise that you really like. Remember to leave a like. Remember to subscribe if you have it. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, drop in and ask any questions if you have anything. And thanks for the support, boys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Perfect.